fire Like leeches leaving me dry Though they're gonna feel my pain And fall to dust when I feel my flame I see no warning signs I gotta fight that beast inside Oh, gonna take him right down Till I'm dying out loud I'm dying out loud Gonna stand and face the rain in the valley of wolves. They say the end may come, but if I'm the only one, I won't ever run in this valley of wolves. The eye for blood. For blood Oh, I try to drown in a river so deep I sink my soul till it's out of reach Oh, they're gonna meet their fate In heaven's gate, it's a losing game Oh, they kill up their dirt on me Picking up the smoke till it's hard to breathe They're like the static on the record But the record ain't breaking me, no Say the end may come If I'm the only one well, I won't ever run In this valley of wolves The eye for blood In this valley of wolves The eye for blood The eye for blood
One. Not yet. And welcome to the nest. We are back for a big game in the Lady Eagles spectrum. Greenwood making its way to Valonia in a big game. Sam, this is exciting. Man, it's a great atmosphere here tonight. It's going to be a full packed house. Greenwood comes to town. Man, they are one and one, if you can believe that, in conference. Had a, had a tough loss last week at Christian. Lost by seven. I think you told me they didn't have their coach there. He had to be out of town for a funeral. And they come in here tonight. Almost a must win for the Greenwood Bulldogs. Absolutely. Right now they are ranked number nine in the state of Arkansas as compared to Valonia's number ten. These two teams really similar in the way they play as well. Both really like to cut and dish it out to find an open shot. But they're really successful on the drive as well. Both of these very fundamentally sound teams. Yeah, it looks like tonight almost like uh, they are a mirror image. They are a mirror image. We got we got uh, Greenwood's in the house. Greenwood's here. Hey. Greenwood's in the house. I don't know if y'all saw that. Greenwood just passed me by there. I was trying to let him know we were on the air. But no, these two teams mirror image each other a lot in a lot of ways. They're both deadly from three point buckets. They can both have they have great guard play. They can drive. It's it's going to come down to. Who wants it more tonight, and who's going to be here ready to play fundamentally? Because, honestly, if we look at the way we've been playing, been a little sloppy here of late. If we don't if we don't clean it up tonight, it could be a loss for the Lady Eagles. I hate to say that, but this is a good Greenwood team. we got to come in guns blazing tonight, ready to go, right off the get-go. Absolutely. Right now, Valonia, of course, over Greenwood in the standings. They're also over Little Rock Christian in the 5A West. Due to the point differentials, Valonia has won both conference games by at least 10 points. Christian only beating Greenwood by seven. So right now, if you're Valonia, you've got to win this game by at least seven points to keep your spot. That's, that's right. And uh, and if you look at the 5A rankings, Valonia's number four and Greenwood's number three. Now that will change, obviously, with the loss earlier this week to Christian. And then hopefully we win the game tonight. So I uh, think could shake some things up. Look to go 3-0 tonight. Stay in that uh, tie, tie with Little Rock Christian. Absolutely, absolutely. Christian, of course, the defending state champions. A lot of people thought the Eagles could compete with that. However, they did lose in the tournament last season. But right now, they really need to pick up the way they've been playing. You hope to see Riley Bridges come back and really compete with the hype on yep. this Greenwood team. Their tallest girl, a senior number 22, Jalen Glass. 5'11". Wow. Yeah, I, I don't think we're having trouble down low. What it's going to boil down to is 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 having good defensive pressure on their guards, getting their guards maybe uh, to turn the ball bo turn the ball over. You know, turnovers are going to be key on both ways tonight. The the team with the most turnovers is probably going to lose the game. Absolutely, absolutely. Right now, Little Rock Christian is playing Alma, and they're probably going to win by at least ten points. So, yeah. like we said before, if you're Valone, you have to win this game yeah, by win. at least seven. Must, to keep that first place spot. Yeah, well, just a must win at home tonight. Got, got to beat a good Greenwood team tonight here at home. We'll go ahead and take a break to catch the playing of our national anthem. And we're back, guys. I wouldn't expect a big Greenwood presence at this game. 
they don't typically even fill out their gym at home. Really get a ton of fans. However, the fans that do show up, they support well. Hey, that's a long trip down the I-40 corridor to get here from Greenwood. It's a it's a good little ride. Cold, rainy night. It's going to be a longer ride home. Oh, and Chris oh. Lee finally oh. shows up. Go Chris time. Lee is home. Chris, you, you, were, you were a little bit late. I'm a little bit late. This, but this pizza is amazing. I got intercepted at the door man. by the one and only Mr. Chad Roller. Chad Roller. Cheeseburger pizza man, waiting on us. So much. Pizza Pro. Gosh, no doubt. Unbelievable pizza. Oh, and Matthew Bradford, thank you for making an unbelievable pizza at Pizza Pro. Got a ball game here tonight, guys. Been looking forward to this one. Now time for the starting lineup for the Valonia Lady Eagles. First out will yeah, be number lost. three, Lauren Patterson. Whoa, 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 whoa. Next out, number 20, Paige Kelly. They may have to go audio again. Next out, number 22, Laney Mears. And last, after this one, this is Laney White. And now last, but not least, number 32, Brandy Rotman. Lady Eagles coming into this game 2-0 in conference play. I'm Grant McNew alongside Chris Lee, Sam Jansky, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Grant, big game here tonight. This is a game these Lady Eagles can't fall back behind like they did last game. They're going to have to play a great game here if they're going to get a victory here tonight. Absolutely right, Steve. This is not a team that you can afford to get behind on. The Lady Eagles start off slow in the first half. Greenwood will undoubtedly make them pay. But if I know them, the Lady Eagles like I know them, they are up and they're ready to play this game. And they better be. Greenwood, one of the most efficient scoring teams in the state of Arkansas. This place is packed, gentlemen. Atm good, good atmosphere. Oh, man, no doubt. Hey, the short squad's down there ready to go. Here we go. Eagles win the tip. This is Lauren Patterson. Working on the near side, lob pass up to Paige Kelly. Paige Kelly there puts go, it up guys. again. Right off the bat, the Valonia Lady Eagles score two they, to nothing. They double team uh, the floor general out there, and she sees Kelly down low for an easy two. That didn't take long. That's like one Mississippi. Shea Goodwin. She's working on the far side. Got it to number oh. four, Haven Clements, who was then fouled by Lauren Patterson. Guys, I feel a different intensity. I don't know what it is, but the, the feel of the team just feels different tonight. I know it's, it's a, a big game. It's electric. It's playoff atmosphere. Absolutely right, Steve. Kinley Fisher will handle the ball for the Greenwood Bulldogs. Fisher, near side. She's going to shoot that three up no good. Rebound, Rotman. Guys, that's to look that she's going to knock down nine out of ten times. Yeah, great rebound. Look Paige there. Kelly down low, spin, loses it, gets it to Patterson. Lauren Patterson for three, near side, no Man. good. Rebound Laney Mears. Mears to White, far side. Now Mears top of the key. Laney Mears back to White on the far side corner. Laney White getting pressured. She has to give it right back up to Mears. Now Patterson near side. Rotman near corner. Mears for three, far side wing. Yes, way it out, goes. Guys. Way out. Great possession right there. Reverse the ball twice. Big stop right here. Glass on the drive, gets blocked. Rebound number four, Haven Clements. Clements turn around, puts it up. No rebound, Laney White. Guys were pushing all the buttons right, the right way here early in the game. Mears gets it across to White on the near side. Now Mears far side wing. I like the one three one from Greenwood. Three, far corner, Patterson, oh, no good. Rebound number four, Haven Clements. Getting some really good looks early, guys. No doubt. Hit a few of those, that 1-3-1 one, one oh, will go man, man to man go away. On okay. the drive, that's 23, Kinley Fisher puts it up and in. Two to five is the score. You know it wouldn't take long for Greenwood to score. Very athletic at all positions. Coach Riley didn't like that defensive 
sequence by the Lady him Eagles right there. Hopping down the sideline there. <laughs> yeah. Patterson the inside to Kelly. Paige Kelly up and in. And that was Paige Kelly on fire quick. If they continue to let that happen, it's going to be a long night for these Greenwood uh, I don't think they have anybody that can compete with her, really. I know they got that one girl that she does not look like she wants to get in a physical confrontation with her. Fisher from the baseline gets it out. Ooh. And in, that was number 22, Jalen Glass, the 5'11 senior. Patterson on the far side. So they give it to Mears on the near side. Mears to Rotman near corner. Lady Eagles trying to get it inside so far as that three is up, no good. Rebound number 23, Kinley Fisher. Fisher's going to push it, pull up for three, top of the key, no good. Oh, Rebound anything. Paige Kelly. Laney White now on the drive. Patterson wanted the ball, didn't get it. It was stolen by 25, Shea Goodwin. Bulldogs now on the break. Glass working up and fouled by Laney Mears. Mears is stronger than you think. She's wiry. Good hard foul right there. Make her earn it. We had our first turn of the game. We'll see if it turns into points right here. Frantic pace early. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I can't eat my pizza and keep stats, gentlemen. This, this, this is great. First free throw up and good for Jalen Glass. She has a chance to tie it up right here at seven. Shot up, no good, rebound, Rotman. Rotman's played some key minutes for the Lady Eagles while Riley Bridges has been gone. No doubt, she's so versatile, both ends of the floor, can guard a, you know, somebody playing a forward position, a center, or even a guard. Timeout called, Coach Alvin Riley. Yeah, he was like, we got nowhere to go with this. He was doing high knees right there, wasn't he? <laughs> That's some calisthenics coming down the sideline. Hey, Coach Riley knows this is a big game here. Absolutely, no doubt. One that we do not need to drop here early. He's got a great turnout right at 6 a.m. too. Student section's in full force. They're actually standing. Yeah. Look at that. Guys, conference game sponsor of the, of the night, Chad Roller with Gen Wealth Financial. Man. We're talking a lot about him tonight. Big brought shout us, out to him for the food. Some pizza yep. tonight. Took can't, good care of us. Can't beat it. He knows a thing or two about sports. He's played a little bit. He knows a little bit about financial, too. That's Absolutely. Right. He will be our halftime guest of the senior boys game, so tune in on how to make some money. Uh, no I'm going to try to get some I'm gonna try to get some pointers. Anyway, and keep and notes. Get keep you notes. ready for the future. <laughs> Lauren Patterson will inbound it for the Eagles. Patterson on the far side tries to get it to Laney White. It was poked away and out of bounds off the leg of Lauren Patterson. Yeah, guys, that's two quick turnovers on us, and uh, we're keeping up with the turnover war. It's 2-0. It's that's right. Greenwood. Man-to-man, -man, Lady Eagles right here. Glass, she's going to work on Rotman tonight as Terry gets out to 23, Kinley Fisher. Fisher on the drive, up and good. Lady Bulldogs up now by one. First lead change. They got some players, guys, no doubt about it. Well, that was too easy. You can't allow them to go exactly. to drive like that. Rotman layup. at the baseline, gives it out to White. White can't get the pass. Last touch by number 22, Jalen Glass. I'm telling you guys, these uh, rainbow passes aren't going to work. They're, they're right there on them. Got to get, get good, quick passes, maybe do some uh, redirects. Crisp. Crisp, head fakes, ball fakes. That's right. Fake one, make one. It's 1-3-1 one, one from Greenwood's interesting. It kind of morphs into man-to-man -man at times, matchup yep. zone. Oh, good luck. Paige Kelly down oh, low, man. gets it out to White. Laney White to Rotman, and Rotman's going to give it right back out to Patterson. Patterson on the drive now, up strong, no good. Yep. But she will go to the line to shoot two. Man, you want, you want Paige to take that or Rotman to take it. It's like Rotman's a little bit afraid to take that shot. She should have took it, but, hey, we're at the line. I, you know, you're exactly right. They, at some point in this game, they got to look for it. And they will, you know, they're trying, trying to let the game come to them right now. First one yep. up and in. Lauren Patterson, one of the best free throw shooters on this Lady Eagle basketball team. Both will fall for Lauren Patterson. Eagles now up by one with a score of nine to eight as Jalen Glass has the ball. Now it's 25, Shea Goodwin back to Glass. 
Glass working around the three-point line. He's going to drive on the near side. Good defense. Puts it up. No good. Over the back. Does that take the Paige Kelly anymore? gets the rebound. Paige Kelly to Laney Mears. Mears falls as she nice gets it look. to nice Patterson look. down low. Now Easy. Kelly up. In there. No good. Left hand, Man. wrap around, interior bounce pass. That's a thing of beauty, guys. The defense on the other end, too. Laney White, great defense not to foul. Even with a little offensive chicken yeah. wing right there from 22. Yeah. Kelly's first free throw uh, is up and in. That's good to see. She struggled. She has struggled at the line this yep. year, guys. Kelly's second free throw up and good. She fixed something there. Kinley Fisher now for Greenwood. She's going to give the 25 good win. Good switch by Lauren. Now Fisher again. Fisher on the near side wing, working on Rotman. Fisher step back, give up to number four, Haven Clements. Clements with mirrors on her. She's going to spin and drive, goes up and good. Yeah, we got to see that and be able to help. That's we got to right. help out on that. Yep, that first attempt on the baseline, the girls were there. They shut that down. Yep. Greenwood stayed with it, though, and got you know a, a drive right down the middle of the lane, and the help wasn't there, like you said, Sam. Lauren Patterson handling the ball. She's going to give on the far side to Laney Mears. Mears to the near side is White. Laney White working on her man. That's 25 Shea Goodwin. She's going to give to Patterson near side wing. Now Mears far side on the drive at the baseline. Give to Kelly. Oh, yeah. Paige Kelly up and in. Wow, what a look. Lady Eagles up with a score of 13 to 10. You know, it's a matter of, you know, pick your poison. Do you go, do you stay man to man and let them drive some, or do you go to a zone and hope they miss the threes? And they're good, you know, they're a good three point shooting team. So, stay in this man to man, get some help defense. Good switch off there. Kenley Fisher, that pass There's stolen, tipped by Mears. Mears is on the near side, going to slow it up for the Lady Eagles as she gives to Patterson on the far side wing. Patterson, her pass tipped. Picked up by Mears, and Mears was fouled by number 25, Shea Goodwin. That's her second, guys. Very aggressive, very aggressive. In comes number 12, Abby Summit. 5'9", sophomore guard. Yeah, 23 thought she was going out. I'll try to get another one on her real quick here. Get her out of the game. Yeah, 25. She's she has the two on her. Oh, Paige Kelly inside nice. finds Patterson. Yeah, Patterson go. floats it up and good. How about that, guys? Paige saw that a full second before anybody else did. What a play. Fisher working on Patterson. Wants to drive. Can't get by. Nope. She'll give to 15. Up. Oh, that's just no a, good. She's out that of control. That was Ali Saki. Yeah, she was just out of control on that one. Thought she was going get, to get a foul called, and uh, the hands went back, and nobody was there to foul her. She just came in the bit off the bench too. Didn't waste any time. No. Patterson now Mears on the near side. Mears tried to get it to Paige yeah. Kelly. Her pass stolen by number two, Madison Cartwright. They're gonna be looking for that now a lot, so we gotta make sure it's a good pass. On the drive, that was number 23, Kinley Fisher. She made a nice move to get by her man, but was fouled on the way up. She's got four early points, guys. We gotta find someone that can stop her off the dribble. Yeah. We keep coming over to help all night long. Yeah. She put us in foul trouble. That's two on uh, Mears right there. It, it, our, our help side defense is coming too late. It's just not there quick enough to stop the, the, the yep. drive. Hey, big news for us tonight. We have a new player in uniform. She's been on the roster, but she's dressed out tonight, yeah, right? she is dressed out. Yep. And, uh, you know, Birdie tells me she'll be playing Tuesday. Nice. Not tonight, though. Not tonight. Spoiler alert. Patterson, she'll find Lanny White on the far side. White wants to move quickly, has to pick it up as Paige oh, Kelly is man. wide open down Paige low. Paige Kelly may have a historic night tonight, the way she's rolling right now. Ten points in the first quarter with about a minute left. So unselfish right there. Three on assists the already, already for Lauren. Abby Summit, she's going to give to Fisher. Fisher on the far side wing behind the three-point yep. line, working on Laney White. 
on the drive. Near side is Fisher. Fisher puts it up and, and no good, but she will go to the line to shoot two. Guys, they're determined to get they to the are. basket. I mean, that's scary. We're going to have to keep those hands up high. Don't reach. Hopefully they miss it. It's two on Lauren also. 23 with a double pump right there on the drive. You don't see that very often. She took off, double pumped in the air. Drew the foul. Trying to get her clock down to 35 seconds. That was really close, but off a little bit. A lot, of point, a lot of points scored in the first quarter this time. We've seen some games that we, you Woo. don't have quite the track meet. I'm just glad like we do the, tonight. the rim's open tonight. You know, yeah. we've had a can. It's been, it's been a lit on top of it for sure the last has. few weeks. Especially from the foul line, but it's it's been removed. Definitely. Second free throw, up and in. Kinley Fisher. One of the best players on this Greenwood side tonight. As Bates has our near side, Reagan Bates finds Rotman. Rotman up, no good. She was blocked from behind. And the ball is knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Paige Kelly. Yeah. In comes Laney Mears. Nope, just Daddy Womack. Great job by Laney, though. That's, that's whatever it takes to get back in the game, regardless how many fouls you got. No. She was ready. <laughs> that was smart. <laughs> took your took your two guards out there to not get a, a cheap foul here late yep. in the quarter. No doubt. Fisher, far side wing. She's going to give to Cartwright. Cartwright on the drive. Finds Glass for three. No, Man. it will go. Jalen Glass gets the fall from the near side wing. Four seconds left for the Eagles. And Womack's got it. Womack. She didn't know how much time was left on the clocks. So Eagles. Go out of the first quarter, up 17 to 16 on one of the top teams in the state of Arkansas. Guys, what a first quarter! Whew. Wow, I'm I'm uh, burnt. I'm just man, I'm crazy first quarter. Lots hey, of action. Little break in the action right here. Big shout out to Mr. Chad Rollers, right. conference game sponsor of the night. Awesome. Okay, so we just knew, this just in. Coach Stout will be our halftime interview wow, for the girls game. Girls game. That's huge. Hey, I was I was talking future Hall of Famer. Yeah, absolutely. I was I was there. He just, another talk, award too, right? Oh man, I do what? Here's another award he just got he, too, he right? He got something. I don't know. He's he's got all these awards. I, I don't know. I'm going to be a little afraid to, to talk to him. I'm a little hashtag legend. That's all, that's all you need to know. Eagle Nation. Halftime like, of this game. That's exciting. It's like that time that Grant got to got to uh, interview the general, the general yes. over at Win man yes. at the at the football game. That was awesome. Eagles. Getting ready to come in, up by one point. Again, on one of the top teams in the state of Arkansas, ranked number nine. Lady Eagles ranked number 10, according to the same algorithm. And guys, conference game sponsor, Mr. Chad Roller, Gen Wealth Financial. We, we have another shootout tonight too, right? Yes. Isn't there like a halftime? So two people are gonna, be, are gonna be drawn to have a free throw shooting competition. Most free throws scored in 30 seconds. Get to Amazon, one hundred dollar gift card. Oh my card. gosh! Yeah, I wish I had that. Amazon, love well, that place. You know who would win that? One Nick Newman. He can knock it down. He can shoot it. He would absolutely win that contest. Total domination. Let's hope he didn't sign up. <laughs> Fisher is going to handle the ball for the Lady Bulldogs. Now it's Glass working around to the top of the key. She's going to give to fifteen Saki right back to Fisher. Fisher is going to stand at yeah, the logo. We've got to suck it in. Let him shoot that outside shot. She's going to the basket. That's what this clear out's for. Fisher to Saki. Now it's number two, Madison Cartwright working inside. Gets by Patterson off the spin. Up and good. Madison Cartwright with a nice move. She may have just lost the ball. Yeah, great move right there. That's not easy to do on a great defender like Lauren. Oh, gosh. Patterson fouled in the air oh. by number 23, Kinley Fisher. Is that her? Second. I got her at one. I got okay. her at one. She's got seven points, so okay. right. glad she's getting a breather. I think Coach recognized she was starting to escalate. Calm down. Get you a drink. You need to keep an eye on her. She's a, she's a scorer. Lady Bulldogs up by one, 17 to 18. This is Mears on the far side, back to Patterson, right back to Mears. Mears, head fake to Patterson on the near side. Patterson's pass, Delaney White tipped away. It bounces out of bounds. Man, they're so aggressive. You can just get them going one way Absolutely. and then reverse it. Patterson near side wing. She wants to drive and she will to find Laney Mears wide open for three and good. 
Laney Mears put it in. That's what you got to have. Another assist from LP. That's four. Good one. Working on White, she's going to give out to Glass for three near side, and it's going to go. Uh -oh. Jalen Glass good. answers the Lady Eagles right off the bat. She has, ball game. We're going to have to break her for doing that. She's hit a couple <laughs> big ones. Moore Patterson near side, double teamed, and is fouled by Jalen Glass. Good to see her pick that foul up. Man, that Jalen Glass has ten points already. Yep. I think she's three for three behind the arc. If she's not, she's hit two for sure, and then maybe a couple layups. Need to find her. Got to find her. Laura Patterson's going to handle the ball for the Eagles. She's double teamed and fouled. Hey. They could give it to both girls. They'll give it to number 15, Ali Saki. Keep fouling. Get us to the free throw line. Yeah, get next some one, freebies. Absolutely. Next one's a one-on-one. -on -one. We're shooting. Lanny Mears on the inbound gets Patterson. Lauren Patterson works across the timeline. Near side wing finds Lanny White. Who tried to get it to Mears. That pass tip. Lenny White picks it right back up. And now Mears has it on the far side. Bates, she's in range. Finds Lauren Patterson. Patterson, chicken legs, number 25. Shea Goodwin. Yeah, they're super, super over aggressive. If we could just, like I said, get them moving one way. Yeah, this 1 3 1's elusive. I mean, they, they play the pass in lanes well. You come through their part of that zone, they will match up with you. Go man to man for a second yeah. as they pass you off. Well coached. And got, this, is where, this is where the Lady Eagles could really hurt Greenwood. Riley Bridges and Paige Kelly both in at the same time. Oh, yeah. Greenwood really just can't seem to compete can't. against yeah. teams with that kind of size. They do get the seal there, however, we can't and on the drive no and the fall gets, wow. gets it to go. That's number 15, Ali Saki. She couldn't believe it. What was that? She could not believe it, and I can't either. Buckets by Saki. Mears, far side, gets it right back to Patterson. They're going to pass it back and forth. And Mears open for three, no good. Rebound, Greenwood. And they're going to live with that, guys. They're going to live with Reagan Bates almost gets the steal. This is number 25, Shea Goodwin. Goodwin, she's going to work it inside and an open three. No good off the back iron. Rebound, Haven Clements. Cart right now, far side, wants to pull up, can't get it to go. She's going to have to give it up to Shea Goodwin, top of the key. Done a great job so far on the offensive end of the glass. They, they stole one from, from us right there. We've got to control these boards. Can't give them second chances. Cartwright worked it inside oh. to number four. She couldn't even get it to go. Rebound Riley Bridges. Oh, she got bumped. And rebound, rebound Bridges. Yeah. Bridges tried to save it, and it was picked up by number 15, Ali Saki, and laid in. Guys, we got the Twin Towers in. We've got to make, we got to make that. we got to get it to them. Patterson can't get the pass. Bates will get it up. No good. Rebound number four, Haven Clements. Eagles down by five. Oh, man. And a right wide open middle. drive and oh, foul no. for Laney Mears. Shot's going to go. Lady Eagles with little to no defense on that possession and one opportunity for number four, Haven Clements. You know, we had, we had uh, Riley in there. We also had... Uh, Kelly in there, and we didn't even go to him yeah. while they were in there. Now, uh, Riley's really switching up. He's trying to get quick, athletic. Lady Eagles dealing with some adversity here early. We've seen them deal with some situations where they didn't have the lead. Momentum wasn't in their favor. They'll bounce back. Yeah. Free throw up, no good. Rebound, Paige Kelly. Womack on the near side. Works it down to Pitch Kelly at the top of the key. Now Patterson for three, oh, no good, but yes. she was fouled on the far side. Very good She's going to go to the line with the chance for a three-point play. Big play right there. Guys, the crowd is bewildered, except the Greenwood cheerleaders. They queue up right as I'm saying that, but our student section is still standing up. Props to them. Free throw up, no good Man. for Lauren Patterson. Second free throw, up and good. I mean, Greenwood's acting like they stopped at Brahms on the way here or something. You don't walk in a gym with that kind of swag unless you got some Brahms in the last That's 24 right. hours. That's right. High bounce off the last free throw, but it will fall. Five-point ball game. Here we go. Where is it 15, Chris? Hold on. Let me get my calculator. I brought my abacus tonight. 
Glass, near side wing for three, no good. Rebound, Patterson, Patterson on the break. She's gonna push it. Patterson to Kelly, Paige Kelly down low is blocked. Rebound, Glass. Glass gets it out to number 25, Shea Goodwin, who finds number two, Madison Cartwright for three, no good. Rebound, Saki. She couldn't get the reverse lay in to go. And they'll oh, call Paige gosh. Kelly for a travel. Bad, you know, I say bad decision. You, you looking for a guard there, yeah. not, not your post yeah. person to take it. And Paige wasn't ready for it. I mean, she didn't know the ball was there until the last second. Yeah, and that, that one's tough. That's a, that, that, one, that one's on the whole team. You know, Rodman made a great outlet pass, but it was yeah, to Paige to who was already yeah. in motion. Yeah. And that, you know, your guards got to present themselves. Nobody hurt, though. Still man to man. Got to help. Glass on the drive. Yeah, Gets it to go strong. It was tipped by several fingers. She is tough. But it will fall. She is tough, guys. Addie Womack handling the ball for the Lady Eagles. Now tipped in. What a nice catch. Rotman down low, up and good. Brandy Rotman. Yeah, I thought that was an M one. I thought she got hit. I thought she got bumped on the. Nice. Glass can't get it to go from the baseline. They're not going to call that. Now it's Womack. She was fouled on the way across the timeline. They'll give that one to number 15, Ali Saki, the junior guard. All right, we've got a one and one here. Let's make them. So number 15, Ali Saki. I want to go back to the catch by Madeline. Oh, Madeline. man. That looked wow. like a receiver going then, up. I mean, that was a great catch. Saved a turnover, yeah. and then she gets an assist. And that was a great catch, great yeah. finish right there. Yeah, what a like, sequence, guys. That looked like a receiver going up for a, for a big catch. She, it did. Like a, she just plucked yeah. it out of there like Megatron. Oh, man, it was awesome. So that's, that's exactly what I was thinking was Megatron. There went the flashlight. Free throw up and Don't good go for Womack. Is it okay? First free throw of the that's one and one. That's a sturdy flashlight right there. Man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I wish I had one of these. It can be yours for... Our, out. our fan club's coming to the booth. Hey, hey ladies. Is that Grant's fan club? Is that Eagle Vision fan club? Uh, either, either way. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're popular. What can we say? They were here for you, Chris. Absolutely. Right. Clements on the far side. And a nice move by Saki to pass to number 25, Goodwin. And Goodwin's got it on the near side. She was traveling. Oh, she happened? traveled. Shea Goodwin. Did Took not, one too many steps. Did not see that. Hey, good defense right there. Momentum's up for grabs, guys. Patterson now for the Lady Eagles. Eagles only down by three now. Rahman loses the ball, last touched by number two, Madison Cartwright. Hey, I, I like spreading it out some, and, and let's let our point guard, let's let her, let's let her cut through there and make something happen. Rotman down low, can't corral the pass. Pretty sure they'll everybody say, call a foul. Everybody in the Greenwood team has two fouls. I'm telling you. That cheerleader has three, though. She's got a few, too. They're, they're calling it some tic-tacs. Already at, at nine team fouls yeah, for Greenwood. Good for us. Hey, if you're at home watching right now, go ahead and leave a comment in the live fan feedback right there in the comment section. Getting back, to hear from you guys. getting back in this with the free throws, guys. That's what's kept us in the game so far. Is I, I mean, we're shooting. I, I don't want to jinx, but we're shooting great from the free throw line. Nice. One point ball game Time after out. the free throws and a timeout called for Coach Clay Reeves and the Greenwood Bulldogs. Breaking the action, guys. Always got to thank our sponsors. Conference game sponsor of the night, the one, the only, Mr. Chad Roller with Genwell Financial. Get a chance to talk to him. At halftime of the boys' game, you can catch him on Saturday mornings. He's a radio celebrity too, right? Man, yeah, he, he, he's, he's on the uh, he's on the radio. I think he's been on TV a few yep. times, some of the local channels. Yep. Um, can I vote for him? Is, is he running for anything? Constable 2020, like 20 anything? Yeah, governor. Justice uh, of Peace, governor, governor. Mayor We're part Bologna, of his constituency. Mayor Bologna, I'm Absolutely. Not gonna do that. Nothing against good Preston. Guy. Good Nothing guy. Against yeah. Preston out there, but uh, no doubt about it. Good big, guy. Good big guy. Big shout to all of our sponsors. Tonight's conference game sponsor is Jim Wealth Financial, Mr. Chad Roller. We'll be talking about all of our sponsors tonight. I think I saw uh, Mr. Gordon, Luke Gordon's dad, just stepped through here. Yeah. But we'll be talking about all those sponsors yeah. tonight. Yeah, he looked at me and just shook his head like, what are you doing on air? And He's I, like, don't, you boys I don't blame you. Hush yeah. it. <laughs> 
Greenwood works it inside, lays it up, and no good off the back iron. Not sure how that did Patterson in, tried to get the rebound, but it was tipped out by number 12, Abby Summit. Big break for the Lady Eagles right there. It's just too easy of a look for Greenwood. Lauren Patterson has the ball for the Lady Eagles. Man Greenwood man. came into this game with a one and one conference record, losing to Little Rock Christian as Patterson loses the ball. Yeah, it's a turnover and a foul. Back, man, you hate to see that back to back. That's three on her. Her and Mears both playing with three right now. What? I'm sorry, yeah. Mears is not in, but she has three. Ooh. Patterson sitting down with three. That's not good. Grant, I didn't realize you they have had three. three. Grant's wow. got three fouls too. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, there's some serious foul trouble out there. Greenwood and the Lady Eagles. Lauren not amused. Fisher. She gave the number 12. Now it's number two, Cartwright. Fisher again, near side wing. Working on White. She's going to drive up. No good. Bounces in and back out. Rebound White, but stolen by number 15, Ali Saki. Saki up again, no. Rebound White, and she's going to keep it this time. Madeline Tipton on the near side is, gonna, is going to have to give to Laney White to cross the timeline. Greenwood is so White on quick. the drive, up, is blocked and fouled. She's going to go to the line to shoot two. And Saki, she's got three. Laney White, one of the better athletes on this Valonia Lady Eagle basketball team. Really showing it off right there. No doubt about it. So versatile. Can really play positions one through five for you on any given night based on what you're matching up against. And that sequence down there was great. I mean, she got a big board, got the outlet pass, fought, fought off some defenders, hustled down, now she got the strike. Both free throws will fall for Laney White. Lady Eagles back on top by one point, 30 to 29. And you're doing it without your two best point guards out there on the court. And three point shooters probably. Sam, like you said, gotta keep an eye on glass right here. Fisher working on the baseline. Oh goodness. Wow. They'll say she was pushed by Madeline Tipton. That puts them in the one and one. Guys, I couldn't see from here. Did she have two hands on her as she was moving? Didn't look like a foul from where uh, I'm sitting. She just kind of playing with that one hand out there, kind of bumping her a little bit. Again, we're not realizing how quick they are off that first step. We got we got to get ahead of that. That's that chocolate malt from Brahms. I mean, where else you get that kind of speed? <laughs> I don't know if I'd have any speed with that, but. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Here's the uh, coach Stout. Will be our girls' halftime interview. Fisher. Made both free throws to put the Lady Bulldogs up by one. Laney White is going to give to Tipton top of the key, and Tipton's going to drive, jump up, and put it in nice. from a mid range. How about that? Madeline Tipton up and good off the glass. Great yes. confidence booster for Absolutely. the sophomore. Fisher now for the Bulldogs. Works on the far side, is going to give to Glass. Glass working the three point line, drives off the near side. Glass up, reverse, no good. Rebound, Brandy Rotman, as yep. she goes to the ground, was fouled by number five, wow. Harley Terry. That's going to throw another one on there. Man, we're going to go through some fouls tonight. You better buy some mulligans. <laughs> Can you buy fouls? Absolutely. No, no, that's a violation <laughs> of some, something. Yeah, Coach Stout, like you're saying, halftime interview, the Southwest Section Boys Outdoor Track and Field Coach of the Year. Southwest wow. United States, wow. correct? Wow. I think so. Southwest Section. We're going to have a that's good talk That's a big deal, no him. doubt. We're going to find out what's going on with Eagle Track. In the offseason, they're getting ready right now yep. to – we'll have a big indoor meet. We'll let him talk about that in Fayetteville for another yep. – possibly wow. what I'm hearing is a very good chance of winning the 5A Indoor State Championship in February. He, there needs, he needs more fingers. In Fayetteville. For all these rings he's getting. Great. What's he going to do with that? I'm telling you, my son's loving it. Both free throws fall for the Lady Eagles and Rotman. Puts the Eagles up by three. Harrison says, Coach, what do you want me to run? I'm ready for a ring. You guys are padding your resume, too. The I'm telling you. Oh, that three up by Glass, Man. around Goodness. and wow. in. She is. There's not much you can do about that shot right there. 5'11", long arms with a high release. And, guys, I don't know. She maybe missed one out there, but she's hit a few. That ball rolls out of bounds. Addie Womack oh, lost it break. along the, ba the baseline. Yeah. 
again, we talked about turnovers. We'll talk about those at halftime. But uh, I, I think we have more turnovers from what I can think in my head there, uh, Chris. Yeah, Fisher. It, it'll, sure. it'll take uh, all of halftime for me to count them up. So that'll work <laughs> out good. Fisher working on white. About 30 seconds left, now 20 in the first half. Fisher working on Laney White. Lady Bulldogs will try their best to get the last shot of the half. Fisher working around, tries to find Glass. Will get it to her. Bridges is on her. Now Fisher, pump fake, drive, floater up and good. Three seconds left. Lady Eagles get it into Womack. Womack won't get it up in time. Lady Eagles go into the half down by two, but the good news is They've seemed to, they have seemed to be a second half team so far this season. We'll hope that continues. Yeah, hey, very close here. I mean, to, to have, be in foul trouble like we've been and to only be down two, we're looking at like we're in good shape. All right, good hey, shape. we'll take a quick break and be right back for the halftime show with Coach Stout. Talk about what he's done with the track program. All right, guys, <laughs> we're back. Real quick, special guest here at halftime, Coach Stout of the Valonia track team, also a assistant coach on the football team. But, man, what you've done for this track program at Valonia, and wherever you've been, just taking it to that next level. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on in track right now, the off season. Well, and well we got started uh, doing a little off season right after Thanksgiving. Then after Christmas break, we'll come in here, and basically the 2020 season started for us. That's, That's right. Uh, Four to five days a week. Uh, we had the state indoor meet coming up February 29th this year. It's a little bit later than it was right. last year. And last year was the first time they had a 5A uh, indoor meet that we could go in and win. So we're right. the defending state defending champions. Defending state there. champions yes. and uh, looking, to, looking to repeat. We're looking to repeat. Well, that's so, every year. Well, that's every year. Yeah. But uh, what will the competition be like in that this year on the indoor? Uh, I know not a lot of teams do that, but I know well, you guys practice was, for it. I, I believe this year it will be uh, a lot more competition because it is so late. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's three or four weeks later. I think some of the teams from down south will show up this year. Arkansas High and some of the better outdoor teams may be there. Right. So, sorry about that. I was, no, was I got I got sidetracked with what was going on on the oh, court. Oh, we got to take care of that first. Uh, no, great, I, great basketball hey, game. Great, great. The girls are playing uh, awesome. They're playing great. Hey, close game. Genwell Financial is our uh, halftime sponsor, and they're doing a they're doing a free throw competition. The winner of these two on the court, the winner, the most free throws is going to get a hundred dollar rewards card. But let's go back into yeah. to, to track. So we got uh, Hal's conference and Hal State looking for outdoor this year. I, How's that? I, well, conference wise, I think uh, 
I think we're still the probably the number one seed going to the conference. I think Russellville will be good. Their, okay. their program's coming on. They've got a lot of tradition there. Right. As far as state goes, uh, ever since they've added the six eight schools, you know, we went in that kind of shocked them a little bit last oh, year. Man. But I, I don't believe we're going to sneak up on anybody this Let year. Let me tell you, one of my favorite of all time, it's got to be the 800 from last Wasn't year. That, one, two, three. Yes. Under two minutes on all three of them. It was just yeah. unbelievable running by those three. One, one a senior and, and the other two was uh, coming juniors. Back. Yes. Yeah, coming back. And then, of course, you'll you'll just reload with, with oh, other yeah. mid to long. Yeah. I know that's where your bread and butter is that a lot of times is, is your, your mid to long distance yeah. runners. you got some high. you got some pole vaulters I know coming back with Carson Lentz. you got the ultimate Draven Smith coming Guy back Draven that gets you so many points. 200 and the and, triple uh, jump. And uh, Tyler sure, Moran coming out of basketball in the hurdles. Man, and he'll, he'll be strong in the yeah. hurdles. And then I know you'll have some uh, – You'll have some shot putters some and some discs from yes. the football teams getting bigger and stronger, oh, yeah, man, yeah. and I, that just helps you. It always, a, I think it all team. works together great. It, it does. Really does. It does. Well, it's, it's unbelievable, Coach Stout, what you've done here at Bologna. I know I know the kids. I know my kid personally would do anything. He, what are you telling oh, him to yeah. do? He's out there. I know they all feel that way. Oh. Uh, I know you got some playing basketball right now, but I know they're running on their own. Yeah, uh, when your they son can. has to come by and talk to me he, today about he, that. He, he, won, really he won, yeah. right, So here, we'll, we'll put a little yeah. shout in for yes, my son. He did. He, he's ready. To, he's been running some. He wants yeah. to run indoor, and I know that if you've got spots available, you're going to let all the kids run that, oh, can, yes, that yes. can make it. So uh, it ought to be a great season, Coach. We look forward to, to, to seeing it progress and seeing you guys with a couple more rings. All right, we hope so. Hope so. A lot, all right. Long ways to go. That's right. Hey, appreciate so. it, Coach Stout. Appreciate you always. All yes, right. Sir. Hey, great, great halftime interview there with – a soon-to-be, if not already, Arkansas Hall of Famer. And uh, that was coached out there. Uh, what a what an awesome track program he has at Bologna. We, ta- we talked mainly there about the boys uh, with the defending uh, champions and in indoor and outdoor, trying to get those, uh, trying to regain that again and, and go for a repeat in both indoor and outdoor. I have no doubt that guy will win. A couple more this year just before one it's qu- all said and done. You guys a legend. Just one question. Did you get his autograph for me? Man. We talked about this. I'm telling you. I just wanted to <laughs> see if he would let me borrow a couple of those rings. It, re- it really is remarkable what he's done with that program, no oh. doubt. No doubt about it. You know, the Valonia student athletes just don't know how, how good they no. have it across the no. board. Coach Nick Newman's done a great job standing on the shoulders of uh, what Mr. Sellers had done for so many years. Just yeah. hire good people. Oh, Tr- yeah. and trust them to do a good job. and. They do. And they have uh, so many – I mean, he just knows how to take a player and he knows how to just, you know, make it whatever their, their strong suit is. He finds that strong suit and he puts them in there for, and he, he, he sets them up for success. Guys, we have a special guest in the booth right now. I'm passing this thing no, off. Hey, now, now he's coming in for the yeah. boys interview that the boys game. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to hand it to him. You got a, a little sneak peek right here. Right here. There you go. Here. All right, perfect. Guys, can you believe it? Sam yielded the headset. We yeah. have a special guest, Grant, Mr. Mr. Chad Roller. Thanks for the pizzas, man. We appreciate well, it. Hey, hey, no, no doubt. Problem. No problem. I appreciate you, what you guys do each and every week. Uh, so it's fantastic to, to get on and listen to you guys. So very, very proud to be a part oh, of it. Oh, absolutely, man. Thanks, thanks for being our conference game sponsor of the night. I think our, our ratings went up immediately. Just, just the fact that people knew you were walking over here, our, our ratings went through the roof, man. That, so that much, that much. Absolutely. Well, I, I will have to say that we've had some fun with this today in the office from some of the previous <laughs> com- comments this week uh, in saying that uh, mentored Scott Inman. So I appreciate, what, you, appreciate your outlook on that, but <laughs> I will have to yield to uh, Scott Inman's definitely my mentor. Absolutely, no doubt. He, he's, uh, a, he's a legend through the state. And, uh, you're well on your way, though, too, man. You guys are doing some great things with Jim Wealth Financial. Absolutely. And uh, we're, we're happy to have you with the Volone Eagle Basketball Foundation sponsoring a, a conference game and a good one at that. Oh, huge, huge. This is, I'll tell you what, it, it's interesting to see uh, how how advanced these girls have gotten. You know, Absolutely. Especially, I mean, good we've point. been strong. Bologna, Bologna girls basketball have been strong for a long time. But, you know, they've, they've seen some competition tonight that I don't think they've seen yet. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and they're handling it well. Big crowd. I think we just got to make a few adjustments and keep playing hard, and they'll they'll pull it out. Coach Riley knows about adjustments. You, you can you can look at that look he has on his face right now and know 
the wheels are turning. Oh, yeah. He's I already th- dropped some knowledge in the, in the locker room, and let's see what happens. I think at least we have another 25% on that heat meter to go yeah. up over there. I think <laughs> I think he's got some more to go. That's I think no he's doubt. got some more to give. He yeah. got, holding it out for the second half. Absolutely. So you got some big stuff going on tonight. We got – didn't have anybody. Uh, Taco knocked down, I think, six free throws right there. And uh, the young man, that was a saddler, wasn't it? Yeah, I think he got frustrated early. I yeah. think the, I think the uh, tension kind of got to him there with the crowd. You That's know understandable. That's understandable. Yeah. You know, at that age, I know for myself, just speaking for me, I, I would have punt kicked that ball into the stands. <laughs> of that. Once I know I'm that cold on a given night, my parents would probably have to rescue me on that one or I understand. Well, keep me from embarrassing hey, myself. Listen, I appreciate what you guys do each and every day. I know it's a big commitment. Me and Steve's talked about this. But uh, it's it's a joy for me to be a part of it, support this uh, each and every – hope hope each and every year that yeah. this goes on. Oh, absolutely. So. And we, we hope to get you back for the halftime of the boys' game, talk more about what you guys got going on and we even will. your your talk show. Let's talk about that. All right. You're we'll signing autographs at some point tonight, right? Well, so I don't know. I don't me know. and Grant want one. Sam said he didn't want one, but <laughs> me and Grant need one. Absolutely. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to get some T-shirts thrown out here pretty There quick. we go. I hope a cheerleader's got a good arm. We need one all the way up here in the – in the mezzanine area. Yeah, we'll see what we can, All right. see what we can do. <laughs> we appreciate I'll, you, man. I'm going to yield back to Sam. So oh, appreciate absolutely. He could do it. <laughs> this guy could do it. He, kn- he knows sports. <laughs> Get him in here. Absolutely. You, get, are you, you put him on the laptop, too? Are you, is uh, Chad doing the laptop also? Get it started. Here we go. All right. Second half action, gentlemen. Lady Eagles will start the second half with the basketball. This is Lauren Patterson down low to Paige Kelly. Now tipped it on the baseline. Step back around. Now Laney White loses the ball. Saves it. Picked up by the Greenwood Bulldogs. Glass on the break. Slows up. Nearly poked away by White. And Glass is going to pull up for three from the top of the key. No good. Rebound, bounces out of bounds, Eagle basketball. She shot that one from uh, Keith's parking lot. <laughs> what showing a bomb. Some co- showing some confidence there. No I doubt. Think, you know, I think that's something we're lacking right now is a little bit of that shot confidence. I think if we can pick that up this second half and get that confidence back under a bit, I think we can make a run at them. No doubt about it. No doubt. That's a huge element in a game. Patterson works it inside to Rotman down low. Rotman pulls it right back out, give to Laney White. Now Lauren Patterson top of the key. Patterson to Tipton on the baseline. Tipton right back out to Laney White. Far side wing for three. No good. Rebound Tipton. Tipton to Kelly. Kelly couldn't crowd the pass. Picked up by the Bulldogs. Man, we needed that one to fall, didn't we? Greenwood sure did. On the break. Break. Fisher for three, and that one's going to go. Greenwood stretches the lead to five. Hey, Tipton's getting some good minutes, guys. I like this. Giving her a chance to start this second half. She finished that first half strong. Laney White, far side, will give to Rotman. Brandy Rotman, high post to Patterson. Now it's Madeline tipping right back to Patterson. Patterson on the baseline, throws it off the Clever. leg of number five, Harley Terry. That 1-3-1 one, one morphed into this 2-3, this matchup 2-3. They still do a great job making it look like man-to-man. Handing one another off, tough to beat. Patterson wow. gets held up with number 23, mm. Kimley Fisher. That was a she misdemeanor. Heard, she heard the whistle, turned around like she was surprised, Goodness. and he called a jump ball. When you're surprised right at the whistle, that's usually a sign you fouled. You know, Chris, I don't know if that's a, a sign of we're just not moving enough to let them get out there on that double team, but it seems like we're just kind of flat-footed on offense right now. No, I think you're exactly right. They, they were just honest. But we made the catch. We had two defenders on us. Fisher for three near side right. wing, no good, and it bounces over the back wall, backboard. It's out of bounds. Almost a little flat-footed. You know, we, we've seen this group play at so many different levels and so many tough scenarios. You can just tell when they when they have that volume turned up automatically on any given night. But I think Greenwood's going to have to make them angry. And we know what happens when they get mad. They can start scoring in volumes. Yeah. Laney White, near side wing to Mears. Mears, near side corner, gets it out to the other side to Patterson. Now Rotman right back to Patterson on the drive. Patterson up. No, oh, good look. rebound, Bulldogs. Sometimes there's just like a lid on the basket, right? We just Absolutely. last couple of drives down, it just, just won't go our way, will it? Clements gets it out to Glass on the far side. Glass spinning up, no good, rebound. 
Glass. Glass has been an animal for the Bulldogs as that three is up, no good off the back iron. Rebound. Oh, They'll say last touch Ooh. by number four, Haven Clements. Dodge the bullet right there, guys. Hey, you gotta, you gotta give a shout out to Laney White. Who else draws the toughest matchups? She's got 22 all night long. Doing a great job on her here in the start of the second half. Mears gets it to Laney White, who had to go chase it. White breaks it the double team, gets right through and finds Patterson. Patterson, far side. Works to the top of the key and drives. Rotman, down low, spins. Greenwood faithful, want to travel, won't get it. Jump ball call. Get a little sloppy, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> guys, we, I think I think we got to find somebody right here to just kind of take over the game, you know, and take, yes, take, charge, take charge this offense. I know it seems like he's wanting us to move the ball around, but uh, at this point right now, we got to have somebody kind of take charge. And we've seen Lauren do that. Yep. She, she needs to get the cape on. Superwoman, somebody, that nice look. Here steps it right back to Patterson. Patterson on the baseline, gets it into Kelly. Hmm. Paige Kelly can't get it to fall, but she will go to the line to shoot two. It's tough looking up there on the board right now, knowing Laney and Lauren playing with three. Paige Kelly, Paige Kelly had 10 points in the first quarter and then didn't score again. Guys, what a turnaround, other than that, not all the free throws are falling for us, and boom, tonight we're knocking down at a clip well over 90% uh, right now. You think her daddy might have had, your, had her out there shooting some free throws <laughs> in the one driveway? Or two, one or two. She's probably doing that herself. She, she knows. Second good free board. throw, no oh. good. Rebound, Bulldogs. On the break, they'll give it out to Cartwright, who works it around to Glass. Glass, top of the key. I like Coach Riley staying in the man-to-man -man right here. Need some help, though. Glass on the drive far side. Gets it right back out to 25. Goodwin. Goodwin finds Cartwright on the near side. At three up for Fisher, no good. Rebound. Laney White, who loses it and pulls away. Oh, another They'll jump call ball. a jump ball. Lady Bulldogs will keep possession. Womack coming back in. You know, you got to give it to Greenwood right here. I mean, they're just playing scrappy. No they're doubt. Playing, uh, they've, uh, they're playing very aggressive, and, and, you know, when they're not calling, you got to take take advantage of it. Yeah, they definitely got the edge. I mean, the energy levels are up. Need a big stop right here. Cartwright on the far side. She's got Rotman on her defensively. Cartwright making a move, tries to drive, spins, has to give it right back out to number four, Clements. Clements working on Womack, drives up and oh, good. Not bad D, Grant, just really good O right there. Yep, that's, uh, that's that being aggressive right there. Exactly. Going to the, taking over. Oh. Rotman can't get up Gosh. enough to corral that pass. Good idea right there. I like the fact that they're, they're continuing to attack. Good time out by Coach Riley. The score is 41 to 35. Lady Eagles going to the bench after the timeout was called by Coach Alvin Riley. Guys, a little break in the action right here. I think we got a full timeout. Conference game sponsor of the night, Mr. Chad Roller with Genwell Financial. Chad, love having you in the booth. I'm, I'm sure our audience knows uh, Sam's not with us right now. It's, we didn't kick him out. He's, he's not banished. It's kind of like an ice hockey thing. We've, we've put him off in timeout for just a little bit, just a little bit. Well, you know, hey, I appreciate the opportunity to come up here and hang out with you guys. Absolutely, man. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to come up here. I know this is a little bit different than doing the radio show, but still uh, wanted to get up here and hang out with you guys a little bit. And well, man, you already got a stellar resume, and I, I, I would like to say this would be a resume item to add, but you probably don't want to. It might, it might well, degrade the quality you already have. I don't, I don't know. When I can put on the resume that I filled Sam Jansky, Ned Jansky's shoes. <laughs> there you go. What so else I, don't, I don't know if I can quite call the, call the weather out tonight. But Oh, man, uh, that's we, good stuff. We might have to get Ned back here in a little bit. to. Uh, He's a natural. He's a weather ninja. Give us those. I think it was, did he, I think he said something about uh, supercells the other night, didn't he? Called out a supercell. And, and hook echoes. Ed hook Echo hooks, hooks or something. Hook I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Enhanced well, Fujitas. He's just missing the green board with the weather map, so. <laughs> no, I, oh, that's great, man. Love having you up here. Good stuff. We got a ball game, gentlemen. 
Fisher on the far side working on Patterson. She's going to spin and drive. Puts it up and good. Uh, and that's the move she's used all night yep. long against these Lady Eagles. Guys, you can tell they have, they worked on that this week. And Absolutely. they come into the game and they're going to run it. And they've run it to perfection. Back to this 1-3-1. One, one. Patterson on the drive. Tries to get it out uh, to Rob. Oh, play. Stolen Cheerleader catch. By number two, who was saved by a cheerleader. Now Glass on the break. Uh. Up no good. Rebound. Paige Kelly who loses it off the foot of Womack. Womack fighting for it. Yeah. Getting chippy out there. It is. Referees stop the play. They'll call a jump ball. How many jump balls have we had tonight? What a sequence right there from one end to the other. You know, Chad nailed it. I mean, right now, Greenwood just came with a whole different level of intensity getting off the bus. And, Chad, the only thing we could figure in the first half is, you know, they had to stop at Brahms. <laughs> you know, what, what else gives you this type of edge? I don't know, but they, they, they got an extra uh, dose of aggression tonight. They sure do. Mears and finds Laney right on the near side wing. Back to Mears, top of the key. Mears on the drive. Laney Mears goes up and is fouled. She's going to the line to shoot two. Lady Eagles down by eight. Hey, guys, I like that play right there. Hey, she's taking, taking you know, we're not going to keep passing around. She saw the lane, you know, getting aggressive. I think we're going to have to start doing some more of that. That's three on 25, guys. We keep her in foul trouble. First free throw up and good for Laney Mears. I really don't want to talk about our free throw stats, but don't want to jinx anything, but Lady Eagles, they're doing a great job. There you <laughs> Leave go. it alone. There you go, Chris. Both free throws will fall for Laney Mears. Glass now near side, drives, and gets it out to Clements, who goes on the drive no good. Rebound, Paige Kelly. Great job by Laney White. Good rotation. Tough catch. Patterson on the baseline was pushed. She'll get it in to Kelly, who finds Rotman down low. Rotman gets held up and a jump ball called again. Wow. This is a physical ball game, guys. It is. It is. They're not going to. And, and you can't blame them. They're not going to let up until they start calling those fouls. That's right. So Absolutely. Keep Ooh. being aggressive. We oh. just got to turn around and do that on our end. Guys, we've just set a record. Most jump ball calls in one quarter. Thought you might want to know that, Chris. Write it down. I need to write, write that down. down. Most. Got it. I thought you were going to say, Grant, the least amount of viewers since I came on. So. <laughs> That three up, no oh, good. Gosh. Rebound White as Paige Kelly hits the floor. Boy, Laney tough. White on the break, slows it up and finds Patterson. Patterson, far side wing. She's being double teamed by Glass and Cartwright. Now it's Mears, near side. From the baseline, makes a move, gets it right back out to Laney White for three, far side wing, and good. Needed that. Laney big White shot. gets it to fall. That's big. I love the high arch. That was in the stratosphere or something. That was beautiful. Needed that one. Fisher slowing it up for the Lady Bulldogs. Trying to keep the Lady Eagles from really getting on a run. Fisher on the drive. Up and good. She's going to make that layup all night long. You've got to find a way to stop her before she can go up. And one opportunity. Just the first foul on Rotman, but you know she she got stuck in a situation where she's dependent on help side defense, just showing up too late. Free throw up, no good. Rebound, Paige Kelly. Rotman now across the timeline finds Patterson. Patterson drives up, no good. She was fouled going to the line to shoot two. That's four fouls on 25 right there. And guys, I hate to see it. But there are two people standing up in the entire student section. You know, P3. Grant, She's still hot. We, we may need to get some pizzas and start passing them around down there to see if we can get, some, get these guys in here. Because this fourth quarter, I'm going to say it's going to get a little more aggressive and it's going to get real cheapy. It's going to turn up for sure. And the pizza, that's, that's brilliant, actually. This place would be turned upside down. Be everybody up here in this mezzanine area. Both free throws fall. Lady Eagles down by three with one minute, 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Kinley Fisher has the ball at the logo, taking her time. Patterson is going to guard her defensively, trying to get her to come out and do something. I like this matchup right here. I'd like it a lot better if Lauren didn't have three on her. But that is a good athletic matchup. I don't think she can take Lauren off the dribble like she has been at other folks. Clements gets it out to Glass on the near side. Now Cartwright. 
Cartwright working on Paige Kelly. On the drive, tried to get Great it piece. down low. Stolen by Laney White. Now White's on the break. She'll get Paige Kelly. Kelly up, oh. no good, but she was fouled. Going to the line to shoot two is Paige Kelly. What body control by PK20 right there to catch it. Full speed ahead. Somehow put the ball on the floor one time without turning it over and get to the foul line. Not easy to do. Free throw up and good for Paige Kelly. Two point ball game. I like how we're turning around and starting to attack again. Seems like we're not looking to pass, we're looking to attack. Second free throw won't fall. Rebound number four, Haven Clements. She's gonna give out to Fisher for three, no. Wow. Yes, it will fall, bounces around and in. Just a cinder block and just somehow went in. Reagan Bates has it on the far side, give to Mears on the wing. Mears Gotta loses it as she goes to the ground and Clements We'll have the ball for the Lady Bulldogs. Glass wide open for the layup and it's gonna go. Seven point ball game, 35 seconds left in the third quarter. Watch Lane tough White. break right there. White is double teamed, she's gonna give to Paige Kelly. Kelly finds a wide open, Lauren Patterson who lays it up and in. Five point ball game. Fisher now, working on Patterson. Greenwood looks to work for the last shot of the third quarter. Fisher makes a move and they'll catch her with a travel. Eagle basketball, 4.4 seconds left. Great job by Bates, just sticking a hand in there and getting in that lane where she's attacking the basket. Great help side defense. Enough disruption to force a turnover. Lauren Patterson, three, two, throws it up, oh. no good. As time expires, Lady Eagles go into the fourth quarter down by five against the number nine team in the state of Arkansas. Guys, what a game. They're definitely letting them play, and we've got to, we've got to so kick up I that know, intensity I, there for the fourth quarter. I don't know. Maybe I need to go down here to this student section and see what we can do <laughs> to get them alive. Go down, so. You start passing out pizza, I, I think you'll get them riled up. Yeah. No doubt. They, like Grant, Grant said earlier, they've been sitting down for quite some time, no doubt. Guys, got a break in the action here. Want to talk about talk about our sponsors again. Big shout out to our conference game sponsor of the night, Gen Wealth Financial. Mr. Chad Roller in the booth with with us right now. Chad, you couldn't pick a better game, especially on the girls' side. I mean, you got two of the best in the state right now, 5A. You got a barn burner here. That's good. Hey, I wish I could have said I picked it, but you know, I just kind of <laughs> picked me. But but uh, thankful for it. You know, just thankful to be a part of the program. I'll, this is home. Uh, there's nothing, no other place like it, and uh, just to be a part of it, opening an office in Conway, being around here more. Wow, that's exciting. Uh, yeah, it, it's super exciting. But, you know, don't get to come to a whole lot of these games, but get to watch them all and uh, really, really do appreciate what you guys are doing. Absolutely. Each and, every, each and every game. Absolutely. The only way it gets better is if you could play quarterback against Greenwood right after this, <laughs> after the boys play, we got four quarters of football, Felonia Eagles, Greenwood Bulldogs. That'd be, hey, Coach Langrell? In the Greenwood juggernaut, man, four quarters, ladies, four quarters, men. What do you think, Grant? What I think is there goes the student section. <laughs> As Patterson is put on the ground, that's a foul on number two, Madison Cartwright, her second. They heard something about pizza. They said Mr. Chad Roller is about to start throwing out pizza. How far? <laughs> See you, Chad. Appreciate you, man. Talk to you at halftime. Now, that was awesome having no Chad doubt, in the booth. No doubt, man. No doubt. Laney Mears at the top of the key, finds Patterson on the far side, wing for three, no good. Rebound, Fisher. It's a good look though, guys. Kinley Fisher is gonna handle the ball for the Lady Bulldogs. She gets to Cartwright. I like the fact Coach Riley stayed in the man-to-man, -man, even though we got foul trouble. The matchups are tough, but we can, we can defend this team. Need a stop. Cartwright for three, no good. Rebound, Laney Mears. Mears. Gets across the timeline on the near side, gets Laney White. White now on the drive, oh, her pass tipped away. Picked up by Kelly who finds Bates for three. Reagan Bates, no good from the far side corner. Smart by Laney right there, not picking up that fourth. Rebound, Fisher, Fisher on the drive, blocked by Paige Kelly. She's gonna get right back out to Cartwright. Lady Bulldogs driving up. Glass puts it up, no good. She's going to the line to shoot two. 
Just Page's first right there. Not a bad foul, really. Didn't give up an and one. So that was smart. She's a veteran. She knows better. A little break in the action right here. Guys, up and down game. I'm telling you. We got kids coming from everywhere. 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 <laughs> Yeah, Valone Eagle Basketball Foundation, so thankful for all of our sponsors. Couldn't do this broadcast without the sponsors of the Basketball Foundation or the Football Foundation, school administration supporting all this. So this is what it's all about right here, guys. This, this atmosphere tonight, electric. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And uh, we got some great sponsors, man. Great only, way, sponsors. only way it gets better is if I, we could play Greenwood and football right after this, Midnight Madness. Oh. Could you imagine being laying on the tuba? We would definitely win the Super War, I'm, I guarantee I you. promise you, this gym would be rocking. It'd be 107 degrees in here. How about just a seven on seven? That'd make it a little fair. A little <laughs> more go. fair. Would you go. seven yeah. on seven on seven under like the lights? It. Yep. Lauren Patterson has on the far nice side look. wing, tries to get it into Paige Kelly. You can't catch the pass. I like it's that idea. It's going to go right out of bounds. Absolutely. It was a great idea. Just can't execute. Fisher with a pass to Glass on the near side wing. Glass pulls up for a mid-range shot, no good. Rebound. They'll say last touched I, he was, by the Lady Eagle. Oh man. No, thought, green, yep, Lady was Eagle. Green, some type late. of hand job he was doing uh -huh. over there. I don't know if that I was playing know. the spoons or what. I think he got confused himself. I think it was Grease. <laughs> <laughs> on the drive, that's Glass who puts it up in no. there. God. Now, going back to see what he was doing, guys. So, it looked like he second-guessed his own call, decided not to reverse it. That's a quadruple decided guess. Decided to reverse it, then decided not to reverse yep. it again. Guys, we, we, we talked about turnovers being key tonight. And, Absolutely. And if anything happens, you know, if we don't win this game, it's going to come back to tur the turnovers. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Got to stop her, guys. She's, she's a juggernaut. They got, they got two players, 22 and 23, both at, both at 21 points on the board right now. Man. Lauren Patterson now for the Lady Eagles, gets it to Womack. Womack finds Laney Mears. Mears on the drive, give to Kelly. Back to Mears. Laney Mears up and in. Nice shot by Laney Mears. Get the Eagles right back in. We did that one right there, gentlemen. Seven-point ball game. Fisher. Working on Patterson. Fisher with a wide open drive, floats it up, no right. good. Rebound, Paige Kelly. Paige Kelly now is going to push it for the Lady Eagles. She finds Mears. They'll oh, say gosh. it was out on Man. the Lady Eagles. I thought 22 deflected it right there, but he had the best angle. I, I just, I, I thought she Lady got Eagles a hand on it. She deflected it. What do you think about this little bit of pressure? I, I like it. Make them shoot quick. Hopefully you make them take a bad shot like last Sam, time in the lane. Sam, I don't like it. I'm nervous. Mm. And hot. Full, Full body, body sweat. sweat. Full body sweat up here, guys. We got a we got a barn burner here. Conference game. Man. There's just too many Greenwood cheerleaders right now. Doing different moves. We're this is intense. Yeah, we're outnumbered on the cheerleaders <laughs> for sure. Fisher on the drive. Euro step oh. up and in. It was wide open. For her. Gonna... Oh. And Coach Alvin Riley calls a timeout. Lady Eagles down by nine in the fourth quarter. Hey, you give Greenwood some credit. Lady Eagles aren't playing terrible right now no. it's greenwood's good there's no doubt about it but we've seen this group have their back back up against the yeah. wall be pushed into a corner watson chapel was a great example where they made oh, some yeah. runs late forced to overtime and then they just, just took over so I'll a lot of time what, left i'll tell you what chris so i mean this greenwood team it's like even though they got they got some hot too but every every girl looks like a point guard yeah they absolutely. all can handle the rock yeah no i mean doubt. And, and no doubt. That's hard to defend when you got five point guards on the on the court. Yeah. And they got length. They got length. And they're athletic and they can stop and shoot. No, no they're gonna be a, they're gonna be a hard matchup for anybody in state this yeah, year. It's gonna be a tough matchup against Greenwood. They they should do well. If you look at their losses, they're eleven and four. Of course they did lose a, a hard one on the road last week, but they've lost to Bentonville. They've lost to uh, I can't remember who else they lost to. They lost to Northside. They beat Northside, but they yeah. lost to Northside. Wow. Number one team in the state in seven A, some would say. So, you know, three, I think three of their four losses are seven A schools. Yeah. So Northside's defending man. state champs in the six A. Wow. Yeah. Six, yeah. seven, A, whatever it's called. And they now. beat them by eleven. Wow. Beat yeah. them by eleven. Yeah. Guys, Carlos Perez says greetings from Venezuela. Hey Carlos, wow. thanks for joining. 
Delta International broadcast. We're global. We are global, officially. Yeah, finally. Lauren Patterson on the drive, finds Laney Mears behind the three-point line near side. Patterson I mean, goes to oh. the ground and they'll call a foul right. on number four, Haven Clements. They're everywhere. They're, they're like everywhere. They're just like fleas. They really are. You know, Sam, you, you mentioned in the first half, and uh, Chad said it when he was in here, that just the level of intensity. They got off the bus with a chip on their shoulder, a point to prove something. They're playing just a little bit harder than us oh, yeah. at times. But Lady Eagles, the foot's on the gas. Now's the time. Patterson on the inbound finds Laney Mears. Mears gets it One to more. White on the far side. White gets it right back to Laney Mears. Womack now, far side corner. Now in the wing is White. Coach Riley got cocoa butted I mean, by number two I'm right there. You. Mears for three near side oh. wing, and it goes. Laney Mears cuts the lead to six for the Lady Eagles. What a possession right there. Laney Mears, ice cold. Got to get a stop, guys. Student section. I love it. Cartwright working on Kelly. Madison Cartwright. Trying to drive, can't get by Paige Kelly. Run and jump, here it comes. Glass, now Fisher on Patterson. Fisher gets double team, she has to give to Glass who drives. Oh, and the pass dude. is dropped nice. by number 12, Abby Summit. And it's gonna go out of bounds, Eagle basketball. The crowd getting into it. Great wrinkle right there by yep. Coach Riley. <laughs> Pumping the left arm, calling for the run and jump. Just enough disruption to force a turnover. You, you gotta take some risks, and here it goes. Oh, easy. White loses it, picked up by Laney Mears, who finds a wide open Lauren Patterson. Now it's Womack, we far don't. side wing, back to the top of the key. Now right back to Womack, who finds Patterson, far side corner for three. Patterson, no good. Rebound. Womack, Womack on the drive, goes up. Oh, no wow. good. She How was blocked. You? Rebound number four. Gotta be something. Haven Clements. Clements on the break now, has to slow it up, loses it, and they'll call a foul oh, wow. on Lauren Patterson. Can you believe that? No call down here, and then they call that right there. Tough break. Tough break, Lady Eagles. Coach Riley is just in disbelief right now. Lauren Patterson has four fouls. One more, and she's gone. Third leading score on the floor for the Lady Eagles with 10 points. Tipton is going to check in for Paige Kelly. We're going all guard here. Greenwood will look to kill some clock here. Up by six. Fisher. Great rotation, now, Lady Eagles. Now Cartwright. On the baseline, spins, gets it right back out to 25. Shea Goodwin. Couple fouls to give, guys. We only have four team fouls. Yeah. A lot of time left. Goodwin working on Womack. Goodwin running around, finally gets it to Glass. Glass on the drive, up, finger roll, no good. Rebound, Laney White. Boards by Laney. White on the break. She's going to find Laney Mears. Mears head fakes, steps right back and give to White. White at the top of the key, now far side wing as Tipton goes to the oh ground goodness. and on the break is Greenwood. Fisher up and good on the lay-in off the fast break. Lady Eagles down by eight with three minutes left. Tipton gets it to White who gives it right back to Tipton on the far side wing. White now for three, near side wing, no good off the front of the rim. Rebound Tipton who goes that's up, that's that's no foul. good. She was hit all over. No call. Wow. Lady Bulldogs moving around, get it inside, and now Glass has it. We're gonna kill some clock. Yeah, they're in the driver's seat right here. We've got to press a little bit. Lauren's gotta be smart though. She's got four. Lady Eagles trying to force the Bulldogs to make a mistake with the pressure. Yeah, Coach Riley might have to rotate Lauren down. He can't run and jump with her at four fouls. But as we get closer, I mean, the, that fifth one, you can't take it home with you. Oh, good rotation. Fisher is taken to the ground by Laney White. On the floor, nobody's shooting right here. Just five team fouls. Two minutes, three seconds left. Here we go, Paige coming back in. Good move right in here. In the ball game. Need some size in there. No second shots. Greenwood's an experienced group. You can tell they, they had an easy layup to stretch the lead by oh, 10. Yeah. But taking a minute off the clock was more to them. And, you know, the coach didn't have to 
yell, holler, do too much. They, they did that on their own on the court right there. So, you know, we got a good group in the house tonight. That's what it's all about. Guys, Greenwood come in with a great game plan tonight. Attacking, yeah, the, attacking the basket. Man, they're all over our girls. Hey, they have not, a, let, not, not let them have a pass. Yeah. I mean, getting in the middle. All over it, yes. I mean, they, they came in with a great game plan tonight. They have not forgotten the, the old uh, broom sweep last year that they got by us. <laughs> Both there and here, and, I mean, they came ready to get to play. A little revenge on their minds. Yeah, no doubt. Guys, got a full timeout on the floor. Big shout out to all of our sponsors, platinum sponsors, gold sponsors, silver sponsors, Lone Eagle Basketball Foundation. Couldn't bring the broadcast to you without them. Conference game sponsor of the night. Chad picked a good one. Great Man. night for Mr. Chad Roller and Jen Will Financial. Signed up some folks to do a halftime shot. That was awesome. Taco who, who, knocked down six. Taco knocked, won yeah. it? He knocked down six free throws. Good for him. He, he was on fire as the microwave. If I know Taco, he's got, he's probably going to take that and, and buy some things for his youth. That is, uh, <laughs> that's just the way he works, man. That's good, good guy. Good dude. Absolutely, man. He he had a rhythm. I, I think he had been practicing. Guys, look at the crowd here tonight. Shout out to, to our fans no showing doubt. up tonight. Full house. Bulldogs have the ball on the pressures of Lady Eagles. They are and they're going to pull it right back out and go back to the same clock killing routine. Gonna have to foul. Fisher has the ball. One minute, 50 seconds left. Mears on her. Mears makes her stop, and she's going to give it up to number four. He's got to be smart. Clements. Good one. Uh, they're trying to foul. They're going to it. Lady oh, Eagles poke it away. Mears couldn't come up with it. Lady Bulldogs working with it on the drive up. Good foul. No good, but she was fouled by Laney White. One minute, 29 seconds left. Eight-point ball game with a chance to make it 10 is the Lady Bulldogs. Guys, we tried to foul them. We yeah, tried sure to foul them, and they, they weren't calling it. First free throw up, no good off the front of the rim. Eagles still have hope in this game thanks to that missed free throw. We gotta keep attacking right here, guys. I, I don't think Greenwood's gonna put too much pressure on us bringing the ball up. We don't have to shoot threes right here. That ball bounces around and in. Nine point ball game, three possessions. Paige, it's our trailer. You give her a second to get posted up right here. Warren Patterson oh. tries to get it to Kelly, stolen by the Lady Bulldogs and on the break as Fisher lays it up and in, 11 point ball game. She's got 25, 27 points, something like that. She's had a great night, 27. Patterson gets it to Womack on the far side corner. Now it's back to Patterson in the wing. Mears gets it poked away, saves it off the leg of number 22, Jalen Glass, Eagle basketball. One They're, minute left. They are so good about getting back in position no after doubt. a pass. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah, the timing's there, the chemistry's there, the, the athleticism, the length is a huge wow. part of it too. Uh, but this, this Greenwood group is definitely playing well together, no doubt. We need to keep attacking, though. We don't have to settle for threes. A lot of time left, just down 11. Laney White finds Mears on the near side corner. Mears uses the baseline. Her pass pitch, Kelly's poked away. Lady Bulldogs have the ball. Fisher up and good. And that's pretty much the dagger. Yeah, that's, that's tough right there, guys. Two, two costly turnovers there late. Yeah. Lady Eagles fighting to make sure they don't lose by 10. Here we go. Because point differentials do matter. Is that three-pointer no good with 30 seconds left? Patterson defensively up. Great hustle. And on the foul. Madison Cartwright will go to the line to shoot two. Guys, passing has been our demise tonight. They have been in, in the middle of our passes and breaking them up. Yeah, we talked Cost about the turnovers. We talked about the turnover war and uh, the team with the less, the fewest turnovers are probably going to win this game. And it's it's going to come to fruition. Free throw no good off the back iron. Good news is we will face them one more time this year at their house. Yeah, guys, Sam, Sam nailed it. I have us at 15 turnovers wow. to their five. I may be off his plus two or three you know, factor there. but And how many points off turnovers? That's, that's the yeah. key there. Paige and Kelly one. up for three no good, but she was fouled. She's going to go to the line to shoot three That's, she's fouled with a out. chance to cut the lead to ten. Saki got his money, her money's worth. That's a five physical foul she got right there. I mean, if you think about the 15 to five, Chris, even in, on a per, in a perfect world, that's that's a 20-point differential on, on, on yeah. uh, turnover 
points possible. Possible. Yep. I mean, wow. And you're down. You're down 13. To 13. Yep. That, that I think that then Intel that Intel lies. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Did you call me a liar? <laughs> no. You, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I think I don't. The proof, the proof is in the I pudding. Know, yeah. The proof is Absolutely. in the pudding. Absolutely. Yeah, as you know, you never want to see these Lido Eagles lose, but this is something that you yep. can build on. Exactly. You know, bring them, yep. bring them back down to earth. You don't yep. see them lose often. Hey, and the, you said it. We go, to, we go to Greenwood, right? Yes. Right. And the right. big thing is, if you're going to lose, you want to do it early in the season and try to peak later on when you're yeah. close to playoff time. I, guys, I, I'm, this is a scary Greenwood team, though. It would not surprise me if they run through conference after this. I mean, the way they're playing tonight. They probably should have beat Christian. I mean, I don't think Christian's is – I know they're good, but they're not as good as they were last year. Yeah. They are? They have, I think it's four, four, four girls, either three or four, in the Fab 40 of Arkansas. Did they not have some that graduated, though, last year? They were seniors that were pretty awesome. They had, you know, like, you know? a one or two, I think, that were wow. that good. The point guard, Skylar Diggins, or whatever her name was. They got her, and then Ice yeah. is Isom is back. Yep. yep, she's a ball player. I mean, there's a lot. Guys, we need another bucket. There's a foul. Lady Eagles are down by 11, trying to cut it to under 10 before the game is over for playoff standings. Again, point differentials do matter up to 10 points per game. Lady Eagles need to lose by less than 10 in case of a tiebreaker at the end of the season. And that was smart. He's getting in uh, Mears and Patterson here yeah, with absolutely. Uh, 19 seconds to go up your chances of making a three here. If the Eagles lose by seven, they are tied with Greenwood in the standings. Zafrito will fall. Need her to miss this one. She broke the 30 mark right there with that one. Second free throw 31. up and good. Not gonna happen. Lady Eagles moving quickly. Stop and pop right here quick. Omak finds Kelly, Page Kelly for three. In the corner, no good. Oh, gosh. Bates couldn't get the rebound, she was pushed. Yeah, don't foul now, guys. Don't foul, don't foul. And they will foul. Man. They didn't listen to you, Sam. I, you know, I, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. It's the plus 10 rule, but yeah, still, exactly. why, yeah. why foul, why? Well, it, you know, that last 10 seconds kind of epitomizes the night to where you got some sequences, some plays where these refs don't blow the whistle, then you got others where the, the play is not nearly as physical, and the whistle gets blown. Yeah, it's, just it's, let it go. It doesn't feel like it's very consistent. But this, right. these are two high-paced teams, top-notch teams that are that are conference-ready, championship-ready. This would be a hard game to ref. It will be a hard game to ref. And I, Sorry I, I defended the ref, Steve. I, I, could, I can feel his man, blood boiling right now. Just that, Greenbrier. Just, man. <laughs> I'm a closet Greenbrier fan, Sam. Enough of that, though. <laughs> Full-court shot, no good Dang. for the Lady Eagles who walk away with the first conference loss of the season by a score of 52 to 67. Tough loss for the Lady Eagles, but we'll have to end this stream and get right back to the boys basketball action. I'm Grant McGinnew alongside Chris Lee, Sam Jansky, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. We'll see you right back. <laughs> 